होली की आप सभी को हार्दिक बधाई हैप्पी होली टू ऑल ऑफ यू आज हम लोग जो था कल हमने एक देखा था पिछले जो वीडियोस में हमने देखा एक्स आर डी का आज हम लोग एक्स आर एफ थोड़ा देखेंगे एक्स रे फ्लोरेसेंस और उसके बाद जो होता है एक्स आर एफ को एक्स आर डी के साथ कंपेयर करके देखेंगे कि दोनों में क्या अंतर है एक्स आर एफ इज एन एनालिटिकल टेक्निक दैट यूजेस द इंट्रैक्शन ऑफ एक्स रेज विथ द मटीरियल टू डिटरमाइन इट्स एलिमेंटल कंपोजिशन it can be done for the solid liquid and powder but mostly it is done for the powder sample and by making pellet as we already know what is this pelletization we take the powder and if possible we add the binder and then we make the pellet the minimum amount of sample is around 5 gram is taken here the two types of xrf is there is wd xrf and the ed xrf wd xrf that is wavelength dispersive x ray fluorescence and ed xrf that is energy dispersive x ray fluorescence what is this wd xrf wavelength dispersive x ray fluorescence a wavelength dispersive detection system physically separated separates the x rays according to their wavelength so it is concerned to the wavelength next is energy dispersive xrf x ray fluorescence an energy dispersive detection system directly measures the different energies of the emitted x rays from the sample by counting and plotting the relative numbers of x rays at each energy an xrf spectrum is generated then let us come to the similarity and the difference between xrd and the xrf the similarity between the xrd and xrf is both uses the x ray source and detector both measures the response to x rays interacting with the substance both provides a measurement to help identify a substance xrf give rise to the elemental analysis that is the difference and xrd give rise to the compound analysis as for example xrf can detect iron calcium etc and xrd can detect the iron oxide fe2o3 or fe3o4 the phase difference polymorphs also can be read like the calcium carbonate second difference between the xrf and xrd is xrf provides the elemental data for chemical composition without differentiating between the different chemical compounds that are present in the sample compound is not categorized in this xrd identifies and measures the presence and amount of minerals and their species in the sample xrd is also used to analyze the phase composition and structure xrd is done for solid powdered samples approximately 0.2 g of sample is required for one time analysis in the xrf already i have explained that is it is done for the pellet samples approximately 5 g of sample is required
at last today we have studied about the xrd and xrf difference between the xrf and xrd types of xrf etc and last again happy holi to all of you होली की आप सभी को हार्दिक बधाई धन्यवाद